what is going up everybody so we're going to be doing a little bit of trade ideas momo scanner so as you guys can see on my screen that i have multiple scanners i have you know one two three four five six seven eight nine uh roughly nine um scanners that i use on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm going to be talking about them how to create a Momo scanner which is very very important these are my two pretty much the two that I use um, you know day-to-day -day. the rest of them I don't really pay attention to as much I just put it on the stream for you guys and yeah so let's dive right into it so this high of day momentum scanner is one of the top you know momentum scanners that are out there uh, it's great I love it um, yeah so pretty much what it is is it captures stock with high volume as it hits its high of day it's very very simple you know because as traders or day traders we're hunters of momentum and volume we want to be where volumes at because where volumes at that's where you know the stock in the momentum uh, will go in your favor if you understand some strategies but so what is very very cool about this um, is you know you can configure it to whatever you want if you want to have certain alerts if you want to have you know the price as you guys can see the volume is very very heavy uh, same with the relative volume is at 2.5 so we're filtering out stocks that are in our you know criteria because we want stocks that have high volume high relative volume uh, yeah in a low float so this is what it will do we can actually go back let's go to today and you can see all of the past um, you know this past stock hitting this so as you guys can see we had GVE or uh, GEVO hit it we had this huge run of B, uh, BPTH, which was actually on our watch list. Um, it did do a reverse split, uh, which is good. That's why it had this uh, volume and it had this uh, tension. It had a fundament or it had a catalyst. So as you guys can see, it hit, it nailed it. And then it did, as you guys can see, start fading off. So you can really just see, you know, it the price moving up because that's what we want so we want a stock with a lower float so anything under you know uh, I would say 50 million shares you know once you get into like 10 under 10 or under 20 that's pretty good that's what we look for so just by looking at BTTH I knew it had a reverse split so I know this 12 million is most likely around maybe two or one so as it hit as it has all of this volume right here I understand that this stocks gonna run you know it's just looking at these key components that can actually make it uh, you know something that we can uh, look at let's see if we can pull up BTTH's chart um, not sure how I do that all right perfect now that's got time for him one minute. All right, BTTH. All right, let's see if it loads up here, guys. All right, so, you know, like I was saying, so we're just hunters. I don't get why this is taking so long. Um, this is unusual. Never had this happen. But anyway, so we had BTTH just have crazy volume and that's what we looked for you know we just looked for mostly price action on this filter you know we want stocks that keep hitting the high of day so you know as you guys can see it just keeps hitting the high of the day it's very very simple and you can get in make quick trades and pretty much the only thing that you have to worry about with this type of stock is the risk so I, I wish I could pull up the chart here maybe let's try it again Do not know what's going on. It's like freezing my screen. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know guys. So it's on daily. Maybe let's just try one minute. Alright, let's double click this. Huh, it's not working too well. But anyways, well you could see this huge surge up in price, so that's very, very important, guys. And normally for this one, uh you can filter out almost anything you know like I was saying you can filter out the shares the pretty everything guys volume just make it to whatever whatever you like you know you can uh, you can you know customize it for you for yourself so you know one that's one thing I love about this and uh, like as you guys get up here throughout the day you know towards the day ending I never really pull up stocks that only hit it once um, just because often, often, you know, they're not moving as fast as you can see. Like, I would pull up something that hits it maybe twice. Uh, pull it up, see what's going on with it. All right, so the next one here is breaking out on volume. That's very, very self-explanatory. We can go to configure so you guys can see it. All right, so I get alerted when there's a new high. So it's one to $30. You know, change from close two percent volume today is you know three hundred thousand. Now this is the one that's different. So we're looking for you know uh, volume within one minute. So we have a hundred or one thousand percent, and then on the thirty minute is three hundred, which is a lot different than all these other ones because now we're hunting volume on this scanner. So often we'll have um, as the high of day approaches. Um, like GVEO, we can probably guarantee I, if I go back and I don't know what's going on with this, make me look bad. But as we go back earlier, I guarantee we'll have GEVO hit it multiple times. So that is a good indication for me to realize, okay, let's pull, let's pull this up and see what's going on. It, compare it to SLB, which isn't even on here. You know, it hit the scanner, but it's not even on here. So that's why I would most likely leave, throw that off to the side, not even worry about it. But uh, and it's a little more expensive. But yeah, let's not even get into that. Um, yeah, so this we're just hunting volume on this scanner, and oftentimes all of the stocks that are on your uh, morning gap up list are going to hit these scanners. So they pretty much just help uh, you know determine um, you know where volumes at, kind of where you know people where traders or people are at uh, during the market you know which is very very cool here are the high volume movers similar to this but different this is like that uh, we can let's pull it up so this is a multi strategy window so as you guys can see you guys can look at that um, let's just go to let's go to uh, edit selected so and you got I'm not sure if you will be able to see anything yeah probably not but you know we do have the price filtered uh, relative volume and pretty much it's similar to breaking out in volume but this is just more you know day you know this is just more like uh, you know stocks that have high volume uh, throughout the entire day and this is just more minute by minute I guess if that makes sense um, so this is similar to action heating up this filters out price um, you know, let's pull it up I don't remember make it so you guys can see it here and this is normally guys I'm not sure what's going on but it's like instantaneous when you click on it so this is from 0 to 100 that's actually changed this let's go from 1 to 30 I'm not sure why that's like that but volume today you know 50,000 uh, you know and you can get into here you can actually one thing that I might do is uh, change filter out the float so we don't get any of those stupid stocks um, then we had the volume at five minute at uh, 300 and then the one on the uh, 60 minute but that's uh click OK there filter out that stuff perfect all right so this is just stocks that are under 20 cheap hose but uh, yeah so any stock under $20 that has some type of action it will uh, come here um, and then here is just the low float stocks. Um, you know, I just want to make sure this just mostly filters out the the float, just so I can kind of clarify. Um, the 
let's see. We could probably pull it up. Yeah, BTTH hit it. So I know that has a lower float if I can't actually pull it up. Like if it wasn't on the gap up sc scanner and I didn't see the float. But uh, yeah, so what other one? I don't really use this. Mostly keep it on for you guys because I did have um, somebody ask if it can be up there. No big deal. Uh, here's blast off on momentum. So it's a little bit of a combination of the both. Um, let's see. So like I said, high volume, lower float. Uh, medium volume it's just kind of it's a mixture of both of those uh, in short term so let's go to history let's go to time frame let's just uh, change the uh, time here let's go let's see it at 9 30 just to so you guys can see it um, let it load up might take a minute so you know very very uh, simple BTTH you know obviously killing it today um, you know one thing GVEO hit it hit it here too um, you know it's just a combination of everything it's nothing too too crazy and then here's just the most unusual daily movers uh, so you know very self-explanatory not too hard um, just stocks that break out of the rhythm I guess whether it's uh, has higher volume whether it the price action it's just kind of both of those but yeah so that is my trade ideas scanner how I find um, you know stocks with momentum and stocks that have high of day you know very very simple guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it actually if you guys want um, I will put my the link so you guys can download this pretty sure I can because you can go to load layout from cloud and that's just copy this so I think that's what you do so let's go copy all right so now you guys can actually get it all right guys so that'll be in the description for you guys so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please sure to like subscribe comment if you are new remember to stay happy stay positive and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend